Hello and welcome to section 4, solutions to long short term memory current neural networks problems. And in this video we will talk about a very specific error when you're stuck in multiple LSTMs on each other. And specifically when you got an unexpected keyword argument return sequences. So it's common to stack up a long short term memory layers one on each other. And this is simply for, uh, mostly for improving the results. And when you do that in functional API, it looks like that. This is actually the first LSTM layer, and then we can add more. And notice that when we stuck in the LSTM layers, you have to provide return sequences argument to do that. And you can even, you know, stack more of those layers and you know, the problem with this code is that even though at first it looks pretty clear and actually it might seem that it works, it doesn't. And uh, this is because, you know, there's a slight error in understanding uh, about how functional API works in this case. So functional API works by chaining layers together, right? So we basically every LSTM layer, we have two parentheses after, you know, when we actually defining any given layer. So we've got the current layer parameters like return sequences. And then after we initialize this layer, we provide the previous layer in the next initialization, right? So we've going through the sequence, but you know, the big um, confusion here is that you might confuse those two parentheses. So when you've got an expected keyword argument, and uh, specifically when it comes to return sequences, chances are in not using a given keyword argument in the right place. So in previous layer, instead of current layer parts, right? So in the first parameter in first parentheses, you have to provide the actual parameters for this given for the current layer. And in the second parameters, you just providing previously. That's it. There's no named arguments there. So in previous, there's just one argument. And this is basically just a previous layer that you've just initialized. And if this first layer, this LSTM that want to stack up on each other, if your first layer is actually LSTM, in functional API, you don't have any, you don't have the second parenthesis at all, right? Because there's no previous layer. So first layer would be just, you know, LSTM in our case, and we would just provide parameters for this layer. And, uh, you know, there won't be the second parenthesis since we don't have any previous layers. So our initial code and our initial assumptions, it turns out that there's a slight, you know, change in the code. So we've tried to actually provide return sequences. The second point is, is where we are allowed only previous layer. In this particular case, since we are, we've got the error in the first layer, we don't even provide the second of the parentheses and keep in mind that here I've also tenor and I've got the parentheses on the right but you know principle works here I have to just you know look at those initializations and always think about two set of layers parentheses and the first one with the arguments related to a given layer and then the second one about previous layer so if you want to know more about this Feel free to check out those additional resources 